Alrighty guys, we have a different video this one. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to install well yeah, install CAAs really quickly using a, the custom install. So I'll leave the links to this in the description. It's on the GitHub. So first of all what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a 3DS or 2DS, which is has custom firm, firmware on it. You're gonna need God Mode 9, um, and you're gonna need SCIA. So, first of all, if you just go to the GitHub and download the latest custom install, so you're gonna need just for zip I believe. If you're, if you're using Windows this is all you're going to need. So if we save that, okay, so then the other next thing to do is you're going to need to go to your 2DS or 3DS. So, on your 2DS or 3DS, so I've got a 2DS here, go to God Mode 9 by holding Start and the On button. Okay, so then what you're going to need, you're going to go to, down to SysNAND, CTR NAND, go down to Private, uh, get movable said and copy that to GM9 out. Then you go down to memory virtual boot 9.bin and copy that one to GM9 out. And then go down to otp.mem and copy that one to gm9.out. That's all you need. So then you can simply power off the system. Okay, and then go back to the desktop. So then you need to plug your SD card back into the um, yeah back into your computer. So. Then once you've got your USB drive in, so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to use 7-zip or I use 7-zip to unlock this. So you extract that here. Okay, once that's done, delete that. Into you go into this bit here. So you're gonna need that in your 3DS folder. So you just copy that across. I already have it, so I don't need it. So the next thing you're gonna need is the C database list. So you simply go to this link and download this. So once you've downloaded your C database, you simply place that inside custom install standalone. So then we go in here, open this up. So it finds C database automatically. Then you simply direct this to your SD card, which mine is F. Select the folder. See it finds boot nine and movable said. Then you add your CIAs, which are in my case, you just go up one folder and it's in CIAs. So here I have two Pokemon games, open that, and start the install. And this will take just a few minutes, probably about five to ten minutes, depending on the speed of your SD card and the size of your games.
Okay, and as you can see, both were installed nicely. It's one final step before they're actually on your system, so I'll show you that in just a moment. So, next step, you need to take out your SD card again, put that back into your 3DS or 2DS, and turn it on. So once that comes on, simply go over to the homebrew launcher and start that. Go down to custom install finalize and click it. And it will install it all. Then you press press start. Takes you back to there. Go back to the main menu and it will show you that your new software has been added. So we now have Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon X. So with that method you can install CAs a lot quicker than through the FBI menu and it's nice and simple. So if you enjoyed that please leave a like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.